Hi, my name is Anne Fife Palmer, and I am the founder and owner of Eight Limbs Yoga Centers. Uh, we've been open for 19 years now, and I'm going to tell you about my top three things to think about if you're thinking of opening a yoga studio. The first thing is location. So when you're looking for a yoga studio, you have to find a physical space first. And when you're looking for a space, you're either looking for the perfect location that's right in the center of everything, which will cost probably more money, but less in advertising. Or you might be looking for a place that's more off the beaten path, which will be less expensive, but also more important to spend your time and your money on getting people to your door. I like having places on the second floor because it's away from the the, the den or the movement of the, the sidewalk, um, but there's also a great benefit to being right in a retail space. So you have to really balance money, location, and the right space that will really work for a yoga class. An HVAC system is really important, as is the flooring. The second thing I'd like you to think about is what's your mission? Why are you opening a yoga studio? So that's maybe your personal mission as the founder, but what is the, the mission of the studio? Take some time to get really clear on why you're there, why you want to be a vital presence in people's lives. And then let that mission infuse everything that you do from hiring teachers, how you pay them, and how you're getting your message out into the world through web, through print, through the different types of outlets and reaching customers. Um, your mission is different from your brand, but your mission is that thing that you come back to when you make decisions and it helps you to continue to, to grow as a business. The third thing I'd like you to think about when you open your yoga studio is how can you make your studio sustainable? And by sustainable, I don't mean just using fluorescent light bulbs and using eco products. What I mean is that your studio is energetically and financially sustainable. That to me means you are receiving enough money to pay your bills and yourself and your teachers a livable wage you are able to have enough energy to run the needs of your business without being exhausted and forgetting your own yoga practice. Sustainable means it sustains you and it sustains the people that work for you and the people that walk in your door to take classes.